This year, the winter solstice takes place on December 21st in the Northern Hemisphere. It marks the shortest day and the longest night of the year. It also marks when the length of the day will begin to grow longer again. Across the world, many mark this time of season with festival of lights to welcome back the sunlight. Astrologically, the winter solstice occurs when the sun enters the cardinal sign of Capricorn at zero degrees, zero minutes. Cardinal signs initiate the astrological seasons. In this case, Capricorn signifies the beginning of winter. The winter solstice is about celebrating the rebirth of life in all forms. The winter solstice also marks a time of rest and reflection as the longest night of the year encourages us to look inward. On a more personal level, the sun in the earth sign of Capricorn expresses itself through accomplishments and achievements in the physical world. The sun in Capricorn is a great time to find the focus and clarity you've been missing. It's also an excellent time to bring a little structure and routine back into your day-to-day -day life. On this winter solstice, the sun will be conjunct with Mercury in the earth sign of Capricorn. With the conjunction of Mercury, you will be better able to communicate your personal experiences and express your point of view. The sun is trying the moon in the earth sign of Taurus, which will bring peace and inner balance. Relationships started at this time may be more significant in your future. Positively sextile both the sun and the moon is the planet Saturn in the water sign of Pisces. Saturn reinforces structure to both of the luminaries and brings form to the formless. The north node has been in the sign of Aries and the south node directly opposite in the sign of Libra since July. The Aries-Libra axis deals with the individual personalities versus relationships with others. With the south node in Libra, society as a whole has been very focused on our relationships with others. Those relationships have been partners, groups, or even countries. In a sense, many of you have been subjugating your own sense of self for the greater good. Remember that Libra will struggle to maintain harmony at all costs. The North Node in Aries is now focused on your own self-identity. The evolutionary goal is to seek your true self. It is time to let it shine. From a more spiritual perspective, the Aries North Node symbolizes the evolution of each unique soul and the Libra South Node symbolizes where we have come from, the divine collective soul. Each of our souls is evolving at its own pace and in its own way. We are still part of the one, but the reason we have been personalized uniquely is to share those unique experiences once we are all one again. Mars in the fire sign of Sagittarius wants to take action and is motivated to discover the truth. It has strong convictions and will actively defend ideals it believes are right. Since Mars in Sagittarius tends to work more on a universal level instead of a personal one, this is a positive pairing with the universal lunar nodes, especially with Mars being sextile the south node and trine the north node. In this solstice chart, Venus in Scorpio is opposite Uranus in Taurus. Venus is in detriment in the water sign of Scorpio. Venus in Scorpio is intensely focused on deep emotional and spiritual connections that are experienced through relationships. These energies are inwardly focused. Uranus in the earth sign of Taurus strives for grounding the chaos of Uranus bringing structure and stability to the changeable Uranian energies. The opposition of Venus and Uranus brings the opportunity of unique new experiences and the possibility 
of relationships built on very different terms than before. Oppositions can be viewed as an opportunity to achieve a new balance between two extreme positions. The past few years have been very disruptive to many personal relationships, especially amongst friends and family. Explore this opportunity to either mend existing relationships by creating new ground rules or establish some totally new relationships that better meet your personal needs. In summary, this year the winter solstice takes place on December 21st, when the sun enters the cardinal sign of Capricorn at zero degrees, zero minutes. The winter solstice marks a time of rest and reflection, as the longest night of the year encourages us to look inward. The sun in Capricorn is a great time to find focus and clarity and to bring a little structure and routine back into your day-to-day -day life. With the conjunction of Mercury, you will be better able to communicate your personal experiences and express your point of view. The sun is trying the moon in the earth sign of Taurus, which will bring peace and inner balance. Relationships started at this time may be more significant in your future. Saturn sextile, both of the luminaries, brings structure and form to the formless. The North Node in Aries is now focused on seeking your true self and letting your true self shine. Mars sextile the South Node and trying the North Node will positively energize the lunar nodes. Mars wants to take action and is motivated to discover the truth. It has strong convictions and will actively defend ideals it believes are right. Venus in Scorpio is opposite Uranus in Taurus. Oppositions can be viewed as an opportunity to achieve a new balance between two extreme positions. Consider either mending existing relationships by creating unique ground rules or establish totally new relationships that better meet your personal needs. Thank you for watching. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and click the notify bell icon so you'll know when new videos come out. If you enjoyed the video, please click on the thumbs up icon.